In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks of how you can best kayak fish Point Wilson and Avalon Beach. G'day, I'm Rob and welcome to the Hook in Mouth YouTube channel. We're going to cover where you can launch, where you can park, public facilities, best baits to use, soft plastics, the type of species that dwell in these areas, landmarks to look out for. We're going to share with you our hot spots around this area and we're going to show you where the weed beds are and where the rubbly bottom is. We'll also talk about the best rigs to use in the different locations. This video is the second part of our series where Hook in Mount Tackle will take you around Port Phillip Bay to discover the best locations that you can kayak fish from. Like in all the videos in this series, we encourage you to stick around to the very end where we reveal our next location that we're going to review. All this to help you get on your way to catch more fish. Okay, so let's get started now. Point Wilson is located in the most northern part of Corio Bay. This stretch is one of my favourite areas to fish, as this area gives me great access to King George Whiting Grounds, and also to some very productive snapper marks all within kayaking distance. The first location we're going to look at in this area is the Point Wilson boat ramp, otherwise known as Kirk's Point. The best wind conditions for kayak fishing in this area are north to northwest. We'll also provide some tips and tricks of how to best kayak fish the Avalon Beach boat ramp area. A gentle north to northwest is the best wind conditions for this area. A 15 knot breeze is the maximum for my type of kayak. Due to the Avalon Airport and government restricted areas, the Point Wilson area can be a little tricky to navigate around. The Kirk's Point boat ramp can be accessed by following Beach Road to its end. Unfortunately, in recent years, Kirk's Point has become a little risky to leave your valuables in your car. The right and the left side of the boat ramp are pretty rocky areas it's not advisable to launch your kayak from those spots. The best place to launch your kayak from is definitely the concrete boat ramp. Once you've launched from the boat ramp, head to your left where you'll find an abundance of weed and sand patches. If the water clarity is clear, then head closer to shore. If the water clarity is murky, head out to the deeper mark. Position yourself between sand and weedy patches and drop your anchor. This location is a hot spot for King George Whiting. The other fish species that you can expect in this area are snapper. So ensure that you've got a heavier outfit on board for bigger fish. Now the other technique that we do recommend is that you get on the drift as you'll get onto some good size flathead. I find that the best rig in this area are Paternoster flasher rigs. Pippies and squid are the best bait for whiting in this area. You can harvest your own pippies at Avalon Beach and also bass yabbies work quite well. If you are chasing big snapper, get yourself a bag of pilchards and burly hard, that is the secret to this spot. Now let's have a look at the Avalon Beach area. As you can see here in the footage, the Avalon boat ramp is a much better ramp. It has two ramps either side, so there's plenty of use for boats and kayaks to launch from this location. Now let's have a look at the car park and the facilities that surround it. As you can see, I'm just driving up from the boat ramp here. Look out seagulls! And in front of me there, you can see the uh, toilet block facility. Now you can see some of the car parking space. As you can see, there's some kayaks there. There's room for trailers and there's also room for single kayaks who have them on their roof racks. Uh, don't mind me here, I'm just giving you some circle work so you can have a good look at it. Just off to the side here, just that, near that tree there, is a track and that's the way you go down to the Avalon Beach area. The track here is quite firm and uh, can be accessed even during the winter. And as you can see, there's some overspill car parking options here as well. Um, as we just go through this area here, you can see that it's quite solid and you can park pretty much right down onto the beach to launch your kayak. 
However, I would not recommend going too close. As you can see where the seaweed line is, I wouldn't go beyond that point there because obviously that's where the water comes up to. Here we are down on the beach and as you can see it's a great spot for launching kayaks. This is my chosen spot to launch from rather than the boat ramp. Okay, we're going to show you two spots around Avalon Beach that you can kayak fish from. The first location is called the foot pile, which is about a 1.4 kilometer paddle to the location highlighted on your screen. The area is made up of rubbly bottom and it also has weed patches amongst sand. which is ideal to anchor up and target King George Whiting in this spot. Bring some light tackle with you because there's plenty of garfish in this spot in the summer months. The other technique that we recommend in this area is to get the kayak on the drift because there is plenty of big flathead in this area as well. Now when launching from Avalon Beach, head directly out and you'll come across the big green channel markers. This is our favourite spot to target King George Whiting. Remember though, it is illegal to anchor up in the channel. When the water clarity is good, you will find squid in the area as well. A change in tide usually does a trick to get King George Whiting on the chew. If you fish the channel drop off, you'll find there's some really big snapper. A full pilchard or a full squid will usually get the job done for a snapper. The key to this spot is to really burly hard if you haven't come across any fish after 15 minutes, pull up your anchor and move to a different spot and keep doing that till you find the fish. Use pippies and squid to target whiting. If you're targeting the big snapper, make sure you've got quality pilchards. When it comes to soft plastics, I like to use the 4 inch swimming mullet uh, in the pearl white with a uh, quarter ounce jig head. And uh, generally I have the most success with a size 2 hook in this area. I've caught many big snapper are using these soft plastics. When it comes time to chase whiting, I use a running sinker rig. I like to use a size four bait holder hook uh, with a Lumo bead attached to a size two uh, ball sinker. That usually does the trick for me. My other go-to for whiting is definitely flasher rigs. Any Pat Noster flasher rig that's on the market, especially the ones in red or pink, they usually work the best. When it comes to chasing snapper, you can't go past the old snell rig. I usually use about a 5.0 uh, loaded on 40 pound litre. Um, this allows me to load up a full pilchard. The next location that we're going to review is Altona. Now you don't want to miss this one because it is our local area and it will be very in depth. If you found this content handy, make sure you smash the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss out on the content we've got coming up. If you want us to review a location, you've got something in mind, comment down below. Hey, thanks for watching our video. Much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.